also put it on a different website. This is where you come into play, Diane, because I understand you run the website, right? So he put it on the website. Already a lot of people have, have donated clothing and toiletries. This is what he was just talking about. And then you set up the GoFundMe page. Correct. I saw uh, Matt Anthony's post, and uh, I saw the overwhelming response and kept watching the post, and uh, people were wanting to donate and ask where they could uh, uh, assist, and the manager um, at Krabby's, where uh, uh, Rocky got the job, um, offered to store some of the donations, wow. and so I did take it upon myself to... Uh, start a GoFundMe account, and as of today, we have over thirteen hundred dollars. Wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's great stuff. I almost faded. Wow! <laughs> that is fantastic news. So together, Diane and, and Rocky here, they're going to go actually look for t uh, permanent housing not too far away from the beach because you don't want to work too, or you don't want to live too far away from work. So that's the goal today to try to find some permanent housing. Uh, so coming up in the eight o'clock hour, I just got off the phone with Matt. You're going to hear what he had to say about their conversation and, and how he never thought something like this would happen. I'm sure you talk to Rocky, I'll tell you the same exact thing. Back to you guys. What a nice story. What a very nice story. I'm glad we're out there doing oh, yeah. it.